Ooh, this one, I've been telling them about this one. Five basic steps to weight loss. I'm gonna sum it up in five. Now, if you do these five things, you will see dramatic drops and decreases in body fat. For the first 10 people that comment, I'm gonna do something I never did, no matter what platform you're on. For the first 10 people who comment below, I'm gonna send you my 21 day reset. This will, in, uh, this will reset your insulin and allow you to drop body fat. There is a, a meal guide in here. Everything is in here. Comment below, first 10 people get a copy. All right, let's go right into this. First things first, all right? And this one's going, you, you guys hear me talk about sugar, right? And I know the calories in, calories out, and you know they're saying just, just eat sugar, just manage your calories. I'm saying don't eat sugar. I'm saying stay away from sugar. I'm saying moderate sugar because sugar is a toxin first and foremost. So all these flexible dieters and all these, guys, these gurus out there that are saying, oh, a calorie's a calorie, just, you know, sugar, whatever you want, just put it in there. No, the, the whole idea is to become healthier. It's to become your best. It's to be, have energy, not crash, not have more toxins in your body. All right, so I say stay away from sugar, limit sugar, keep sugar at uh, a, a lower. All right, so reduce your consumption of added sugars, but I'm gonna go one step further here. I'm going to tell you to swap. All right, so take your calories, and this is for all the flexible dieters out there, right, who say, oh, you're just gonna reduce calories. I don't want you to reduce calories. I don't want you to go on a crash course diet. I don't want, your, I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is I want you to take the sugars, right, the processed, refined sugars, and I just want you to swap with whole carbs. All right, sweet potato, write this down, get your notebook out, sweet potato, steel cut, gluten-free, steel cut oats. You could have a little bit of sprouted grains and Ezekiel bread, I'm okay with that. You could have white rice, you could have some gluten-free rice cakes. Um, all right, so if you stick with those, all right, swap them, sugar for complex carbohydrates, all right? Second thing, all right, reduce your consumption of refined grains, white flour, bleach flour, um, white bread, wheat bread, garlic bread, uh, Panera's bread, your mama's bread, your grandma's bread, everybody's fucking bread, get rid of it, all right? <laughs> it's, there, there's no nutritional value. I, I, like why would you wanna eat something with zero, zero nutritional value? It's gonna leave you bankrupt, no nutritional value, but you're still gonna eat it because you've, you know, you've got your macros all dialed in and you just wanna have some bread, there's no value in it. Number three. Moderate your protein intake. A lot of us, the great thing about protein is number one, all right, it has the highest thermic effect of food, meaning that you actually burn more calories through digestion when you're digesting protein over any other macronutrient. All right, I think it's like 10, 15, 20% of the calories you eat that way actually get burned through the process. All right, so what does moderate protein look like? Start with 0.8, like if you are not used to eating a lot of protein, all right? You're like, Michael, I, I just need a starting place. I would start at 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. Now, if you're over 30% body fat, this can change because I don't want someone that's 300 pounds necessarily eating 300 grams of protein, right? It just depends. So this is per pound of body weight, say you're 20%, you know, 25% uh, less or less body fat. Otherwise, you, know, you could probably cut your, cut your weight in half and do that, all right? Then you know, try to get this thing up to one. If you're weight training, 1.2, 1.5 right? And moderate this. This stays consistent every single day while you fluctuate your energy sources, carbohydrates or fats. Next one, all right? Increase your consumption of natural fat. I'll give you some examples here, but I said cut here, all right? So for all of you calorie counters and, and all of you Scientologists up there, um, I said cut here, all right? You're going to cut added sugar. You're going to cut grains. I actually said swap here. You're going to cut grains and look, you're going to increase, because most of you are not eating enough protein, you're gonna increase your protein here, and you're gonna increase the consumption of natural fats. Why? Because fats are very satiating, just like protein, they're very satiating. Now they're also more calorically dense, but you're not going to get fat eating coconut oil and avocados and olives, you're not gonna do that. Now, some people say, well, what about almond butter? Right, what about, what about nut butter, right? Nut butter, <laughs> nut butter is processed. Try overeating a bag of raw, unsalted almonds. You think you can do it? Probably not. You're not getting fat on raw almonds. You're getting fat on nut butter and peanut butter. Last but not least, increase consumption of fiber and vinegar. Uh-oh, fiber. Uh-oh, so now we've got increased consumption, increased consumption, increased consumption, decreased consumption, decreased consumption. I wanna make sure to be very clear. I don't want you to drop calories. I wanna know 
who's watching this and who is going to try this below. Just these five things and we're just doing it for seven days. That's it. I don't want you to do it for eight days. I just want you to commit for seven and then I want you to come back to this post and I want you to leave me a message. You cannot drop calories. That's my rule. You cannot drop calories. You can only sw make swaps. All right, so increase your fiber. Why? Fiber is also very satiating, right? It's gonna keep you fuller. Vinegar, ooh, what about the vinegar? There's something in vinegar called acetic acid and it's great for your metabolism and ACV is also shown to drop your blood triglycerides, all right? So it is great, you could do it before a meal and uh, every single day for seven days, I want you to do this, all right? These five things will be amazing and very impactful on your weight loss journey. In fact, some of you are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can actually live like this, right? I can actually do this, right? I don't want you to cut calories. I don't want you to starve yourself. Let's be smart. The whole idea behind this is only one thing, all right? For you, it's fat loss. For me, I'm saying, great, fat loss is a side benefit of the new awarenesses and the new education and learning about yourself that's gonna happen through this. That's the most important thing. Fat loss is actually just a side benefit of more awareness around nutrition and the things that you eat and consume. Right? You, if you're looking at a mirror and you're not happy because you're overweight, that's because you've got poor consumption habits. You've got no awareness around your nutrition and what's actually going in your body. So as soon as you put that awareness around it, right, as soon as you, if you do something like this and you start to understand how foods are making you feel, then what happens is when you put something in your body that doesn't agree with you because you haven't eaten in a while, your body's going to tell you, it's going to send an awareness here that says, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have that. So it's about being more aware of this, of what you're doing so that you can start to, so you can start to schedule and you can start to deploy the things in your life that make you feel good, that make you come alive because nutrition, the things that we eat, it's not supposed to make us crash. We shouldn't have to reach for energy drinks in the afternoon, right? We should use the fuel from our food to have energy and not crash and live the life that we want. All right, guys, let me know below if this one served you. Got lots of ooh, passion going today. Love you guys. Thanks so much. You're, I'm lit. I'm on fire because of you. Thank you.